Uh, today, you might have noticed, it is Prince Harry's 40th birthday. The Duke of Sussex released an 84-word statement ahead of the big day, praising his two children, Archie and Lilibet, and speaking of the fresh perspective he's gained on life after becoming a father. The prince will be celebrating his birthday at his Californian home with his wife, Meghan, and friends. Now, former royal butler Grant Harold, who has known Harry since a little boy, which seems like five minutes ago to me, joins us to talk about Harry's birthday and, Harry's, and, and where Harry has been and where he's going. Grant, thank you very much for joining us. Um, now, forgive my ignorance, but I'm not entirely sure what Harry actually does at the moment. So, 40th birthday is a time for reflection, a time for looking forward. What does Harry actually do? Don, thank you for having me on. Very good question. I think a lot of people ask the same question on a daily basis. As a, as a working member of the royal family, we knew what he did, but obviously now living in the States, it's a bit of an unknown. We're aware of when he has done something, because obviously the documentaries, the book, but at the moment he's been very quiet, which is obviously a good thing as well. And of course, there's been rumours recently, wasn't there, that he might be returning mm. back to the UK, which obviously is not going to happen. Um, so I don't quite know the answer to that, Don, as to exactly what his role is, other than focus on the things that he's already been focused on for the last few years. The interesting thing about today, as I think you mentioned earlier, is that the, the king, the queen, and Prince uh, William, his brother, and his sister-in-law, the, the um, Princess of Wales, have all obviously wished him a happy birthday. And that's the first time in two years on social media that they've done that which I think is a really interesting move because that would have that decision is very public and that's not something that's been taken lightly. So there's a reason, I think, behind that. And it's making me wonder if possibly, who knows, there is maybe talks going on behind the scenes where maybe things are starting to hopefully fix. It was quite impersonal, though, wasn't it? And obviously it's 40, so it is a very special birthday. It's not mm. like being 39 where they didn't do anything last year. Yeah. Do, do you read more into it than the fact that they feel like they've got to do something, otherwise it's going to cause even more controversy? Don, you're absolutely right. I mean, you know, the, the one thing about the, the Royal Family, they always try to do everything, or the monarchy, they try to do everything the correct way and by the book. And as you mentioned, a 40th is a big occasion. But I think with everything that's taken place and with a lot of the kind of um, accusations and claims that, that they've come out with over the, over the past few years, for the Royal Family to suddenly publicly wish a happy birthday, it, it's still quite a significant thing. As you said, maybe I'm looking too much into it and reading something else. I'd like to think that there's something going on behind the scenes. I'd like to think, I've always said, I don't see him ever being able to return back to the, the kind of royal duties of the Harry that we all knew. Mm. But I would like to think that he could, you know, there's nothing worse than falling out with family members. You know, you only get one family mm. and we're not here forever. And mm. that's why I'd like to see him fix or heal the rift between his family more than anything. And I'm not asking him to, I'm not expecting to go back into royal duties. That's not what I'm saying at all. I just would like to see, because I remember when I worked for them, how close they were, Don, and that's what yes. makes me sad, is they were a very close family. And I'd like to see that again. Whatever's gone wrong, and we've all got our views on what's gone wrong, and I'm sure we've, we're on the line, but at the same time, there needs, they needs to be a kind of draw, a line drawn under this and, mm -hmm. and some sort of peace kind of mm -hmm. sorted out of this whole thing now. Yeah. Grant, just very quickly, um, you obviously, you, you knew him when he was younger um, and the, the relationship he had with his brother. I, I was lucky enough to interview their mum about the relationship her boys had, which she was, she, she absolutely adored the way William looked after Harry. Um, I, I personally, after having met the boys a couple of times with their mum, I actually don't recognise the man that we see at 40 from the, the, the teenager, the young man, the, the, the army veteran. Mm. Don, you're right. I'm also envious you got to meet the Princess of Wales because sadly she had passed a few years before I even joined. But um, you're right, he has changed. I agree with you on that because mm. you said as a teenager in his 20s, he was a very different character. Mm. Can I say, I think you'll agree with me, he was a bit mischievous, he was a bit naughty, uh, twinkling his eye, good fun, down to earth, didn't take life too seriously, adored his family where everything's changed so much with all these kind of legal battles and these, you know, this folly. And it's just so unlike him. And, and of course, he has talked about mental health. And of course, that could be a big part of it. Of course it could be, you know, 100%. Yeah. Yeah. So I'd like to think, though, that now he's hit 40, that maybe he's going to reflect on what's happened and maybe take out a, a, a kind of new um, leaf in the book, if you like, oh, new chapter. Oh, now, it's the birthday boy. I can't believe that Harry is actually 40. It seems like five minutes ago he's a little boy. Um, what do you make of uh, the, the plans to celebrate and the fact that William and Kay and the King and Camilla have both put birthday messages up on their websites? Well, hello, my lovely, for a start off. Now, uh, 
It's interesting that the, he has received messages from both uh, William and Catherine, uh, as well as the King and Camilla. But let's not run away with any thoughts of all of branches or bridges being built or oh. anything else being okay. built. Now, if you look at the message from William and Catherine, that comes from their office. Uh, they will have given the nod to that um, that message to go out. But normally the ones that they do themselves would normally carry their initials, William and Catherine. But uh, there are no initials. So it's, it's perfunctory. And these messages are usually reserved for working royals and the Queen made it almost a rule, unwritten rule, that any royal whose birthday ends in a zero gets a message as well. It's it's that simple. It's not a it's not a um, oh come on back, Harry, all is forgiven, you back in and all that sort of stuff. No, forget about it. Oh well that doesn't sound very personal, does it? I mean so I mean you know, we keep talking about Harry making plans to get back into the royal fold and will it happen? He's talking to his old mates over here. Um, but there doesn't seem to be any realistic sign uh, of it, yeah. does there? Well, Don, I'm sure his old mates and some members of the Spencer family, and I, I'm not having a go at them for it because that's what families do. They want to have happy families. And I'm sure that they would like to have it all, all nice and everything else, all talking to each other, all getting in, into the same room and not shouting and screaming at each other. Uh, but th there are no real signs. I mean, there are no real signs from Harry that he wants mm. to come back. I mean, this stupid suggestion that he could come back and maybe do the odd royal job, it's daft. Remember, the Queen was quite clear when Harry and Meghan, and let's not forget, it was Harry and Meghan, not members of the royal family. Harry and Meghan wanted to leave the royal family, and she said, you're, you can't be half in, you can't be half out, you're either in or you're out. It's that simple. Harry and Meghan were the ones who wanted to go off, make their own money. No problem with that whatsoever. But you can't then suddenly say, oh, I'll come back and maybe open a flower show occasionally or go to the WI or, or whatever. It doesn't work like that. Um, Charles, a third of Brits would actually support Prince Harry returning to royal duties. No mention of Meghan in this poll, um, whether they'd support her coming back over here with him. Yeah. Look, zero birthdays, as we all know, are times when you look back on where you've been and you look forward to where you're going. Where do you think Harry is actually going? I, I'm not terribly sure, but you mentioned that poll, uh, Dawn, a, a third of Brits want mm. Harry Harry back. 60% then don't want Harry <laughs> I back. I knew you were going to do that, Charles. I no, knew that. Uh, I mean, it's not, it's not a rise in his popularity. There are some people who would like to have Harry back. And he was a popular member of the royal family when he and Meghan were both working royals. People adored him. Fantastic. But they took their toys out of the pram and headed off. I don't know where he's going in, in the future. I mean, uh, I'm not even sure what he's doing anymore, well, or whether he's whether he's still uh, progressing with net, Netflix projects or whatever. Uh, we'll just have to we'll just have to wait and see. But if anybody thinks that uh, just because he gets a Twitter message or an Instagram message from members of the royal family and it's it's all going to be you know smooth running from now on, I'm afraid that's just not going to happen. Oh, it doesn't sound like a very happy birthday after all, does it? Uh, Charles Ray, thank you very much for joining us and bringing us up to date on Prince Harry's 40th birthday today and getting a, a sort of fairly um, plain message. It's sort of like a moon pig message, isn't it? There's no signature on it. It's just like happy birthday from a, 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 the, the royal account, not from the royals themselves, by the sounds of it. Anyway, so let's see what my panel make of this. Uh, um, we have Amy Turner and Emma Wolf still with us. Emma, coming to you first on this one. Are you going to sing a rousing chorus of happy... No, you're not, are you? A rousing chorus of happy birthday to Harry? I'm not. I don't think he needs my happy birthday. I think the word there is perfunctory. These messages were carefully coded. They're pretty muted. They're pretty lukewarm. They were perfunctory um, office messages wishing him happy birthday. I think... That the senior royals just thought, you know, it'll cause more hassle. It'll cause more controversy and speculation if we don't just put out a message. They just put out a message. It's not personal. It's not, you know, big bro, little bro, happy birthday, bro. Can't wait to see blah, blah, blah. There's been absolutely, as Charles says, there's been no sign on either side of a desire for a thawing. Although Harry, we, we understand that he may want to come back.
Pfft purely because his life, his vegan yoga lifestyle in, in Montecito sounds so miserable. I think he's very miserable. But if only, as you say, zero birthdays, I never heard that phrase, but big birthdays are a time for reflection. Why doesn't he use, look at the last decade for him, it's been pretty momentous, pretty a, eventful. A lot of changes. Um, I think he met he Megan probably, yes. probably 2013, around then, anyway, probably about 10 years. But why not use turning 40 as a time to put the bitterness behind him, to put the addiction to, like, legal Law, lawsuits against the royal family, against the, the press, against the tabloids. Put all that behind him and start afresh with his life over on the West Coast, with his kids and his lovely wife. Why not do that? Do you think that is what he's going to do? Do you think he will actually just, you know, look forward to the future? Do you think he's happy? I think that's part of moving into the future. I think that's part of what he's doing, that he puts it, he's putting everything behind him by dealing with it, particularly with the stuff um, regarding the press and the cases regarding the press. A big part of the closure on that is dealing with it and putting it to bed that way, which I, I think is good for Harry, actually. But if, I think when we think about when he turned 30, right, where was he? So he just got um, back from his military service. Yes. He founded the Invictus Games and he'd just broken up with Cressa de Bonas. So he was a single guy. Cut 10 years forward. He's a married man living in L.A. with a five-year-old and a two-year-old. But also the changes in the royal family. So at the moment, Kate Middleton's just thankfully recovered. And I reckon she's having a t big moments like that make you reassess everything, don't they? Very and so. I think last year they didn't um, wish him a happy birthday. So it is... It is progress that is a little olive branch no, i know what you're saying go of i know what you're saying about go. it being like this oh an hb post on stuff. facebook or something it's very businessy whatever but it's something it's something because um, it's 40 you know his dad is currently battling cancer and it's a time when the family are going to come back together surely I think it'd I, be great if they did. I don't want families to be divided. Mm. I think family fallings out are the, some of the saddest things. You know, I'm sure we've all experienced family problems in our own families. I'm, I, I don't take any pleasure in the fact that the, the royal family are clearly deeply divided. But look at where that comes from. Harry said, said and did some unforgivable things in his memoir, really incredibly hurtful things about his father, about his father's wife, about his big brother. Clearly, he and William have deep seated issues going back many years. But frankly, you know, he's not putting anything behind him. He's pursuing these high court cases. He just needs. Part of growing up is sometimes saying, just let it go. But he's, can't he's made everything. that his just mission, let it go. Though, hasn't he? And I think he's made it his mission on behalf of other victims of, of similar um, incidences involving the press. And it, it's part of who he is going forward. But he's said... Victims? In his, what, celebrities? I mean, of phone hacking? Help. Help the victims. Help victims there by so many people going that, and that doing good work. Didn't have the means to be able to pursue those court cases, and I think he's doing it with them and for them as much as himself. That's for um, himself. That is not humanitarian what are his work. Charity projects also for himself. He's got a fantastic aid charity. He's got what I said, the, the, the Invictus Games. He's putting himself to good use with these charity projects, and I think he's aiming to do more of that over the next ten years. And yet, to your earlier question, I think he's very happy.